Ah, I told you from ableton.com here. I want to show you some live looping setup I used with the new Area Touch and Ableton Live. Um, Area Touch is really nice, a really nice controller. You have up to 32 interface presets in here. You're able to customize them once they are releasing their Area Lab um, software, editing software. So for now, I stuck with the presets which are great already to use. So um, just to show you, you have those different presets on here and I picked um, the 8-pad preset here and I'm putting this for code, chords so to be able to play chords I'm running a max for life device of mine here which is called Note 2 Chords version 3. Um, it comes with nearly 30 presets and you get some trigger notes in here uh, at the first uh, section here and they are triggering the whole rows. So the C1 I'm sending in here is triggering this chord, uh, this next chord here. Yeah, so I'm just using the four, three pads here. Really nice, velocity sensitive, yes, so if you're interested in the device, check it out. Just search for Note to Chords on my homepage, ableton.com. And yeah, so the next section, obviously drums. So I'm just using a drum rack here. And nice velocity uh, values here again. I'm able to pitch um, octave up and down via plus and minus here so that becomes handy for the third part uh, if i'm now picking a different preset where i get a piano keyboard piano view here if i want to play higher just pressing the plus and i get pitch bend here as well this whole controller is a multiphonic expression compatible MPE it's called so um, I haven't looked that much into that for now but I get some pitch band values here so I can do some slides do this a bit lower you get the picture. So this is a really nice controller. It works great with sticks as well. I did a full review on that as well. If you're not already there, have a look on www.abletondrummer.com. Yes, so once um, Ambot Me, the company who's, who's producing um, the Area Touch, um, will release their editing software. I'm going to be able to create my own interface templates here. So I'm actually going to be able to have those three pads and then have the keys on the top and then maybe just add um, another control here for switching to the next section in Ableton Live and being able to start uh, and uh, re-loop um, stuff here directly on one interface. So I'm really looking forward to that. And um, yes, uh, there is more to come, so please make sure to be subscribed to my email newsletter or check out my Max for Life devices. If you have any questions, uh, please put some comments or put your questions in the comments. Cool, okay, stay tuned.